All right, welcome back to some ranked. So I am at 1302 elo, new highest, but I am just behind God, eight elo away. But if I lose one game, you lose like 25 elo at this point. So you gotta just never lose. Okay, we're going against Legend 27. This is actually Lightmare, who is one of the top players in SAP. So this is gonna be pretty tricky, pretty underrated, I would say. Probably just climbing up the leaderboards bit by bit and i guess we'll go ahead and play around mouse why not it's also good against ant in front okay yeah so if i lose this probably like lose 25 elo if i win this i gain maybe like eight it's not really amazing we have very similar teams did he have double duck i guess that's slightly better okay get the fish level up though that's nice and another duck okay perfect we'll just take that I guess it is a throw round because we drew, which means pig in the back, actually. Okay. It's a good thing I actually remembered this time. Should remember to throw because snails, four extra stats can be pretty relevant, especially on hurt builds, which are quite good. All right. And it looks like it's just going to be a draw. Pretty expected there. Now, can I get the duck level up? Okay. There's just immediately two worms, so I'm just going to take one of those. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine now. Hopefully it buffs Worm. Okay. And then I just sell the ducks onto you guys. So I will go Big Dodo. And then take this. I kind of want to just take this mouse as well. Go ahead and roll. And another mouse. Plus a spider. Alright. Um, do I just wait till next turn, I guess? I could, uh, I could sell fish to put in another mouse and just assume that I lose this turn, maybe? I mean, what are the odds I really win this turn with a team like this? Yeah, so I guess I'll just do this now. I can put in Spider. I guess it's slightly better tempo. Just to be very gold efficient. And then the 4-4 four, four will, I guess, buff you. I'll probably want to put you in front, right? And then you there in case it spits out a sheep. Okay, yeah, we're not going to beat a camel. Even if we get a camel of our own, that is not going to be enough. They've got a ton of tempo, actually, with dog and camel. Those are, like, ideal for tempo. And so, I'm just going to keep buffing you. I'll go ahead and sell this guy. Go ahead and take you. Buy this. Um, Peacock isn't the worst thing against their team. Maybe I should think about it, but I think I'm just going to roll. And I'll take a flamingo. Alright, 8-8, not bad. How about a worm? No worm? Okay. Well, at least I got a pill. I guess I'll still take the spider pill next turn. Um, so 3-2 in front seems good. Everything looks okay. Against Hedgehog Camel, that is just so much tempo. It's really hard to beat Hedgehog Camel for a while. I think I'm going to need to have to roll into Ox to have any chance. Double Hedgehog. That is tough. Okay. Just to add salt to the wound. Sure. It was actually very close. I wonder if they didn't get a camel, if I could have gotten a draw there. Probably not. Okay, another dodo. Um, so I think I'm just going to pill you. Let's see what we get out of it. A rabbit. Okay, that'll work for sure. Um, I think I'm just going to buff you. I'll buff you some more. And then probably combine for a giraffe. And we're just going full scale in here. I could even sell this flamingo, but okay. Ox, nice. I guess we'll take that next turn instead of giraffe probably. Hopefully we can find a pill for this flamingo. That would be perfect. And I'm not sure there's like all that much I can do here. I think, yeah, we just kind of let everything die, right? I mean, there's a good chance... I, they can't go camel in front because they have hedgehogs, right? So I guess we have to keep it like this. And we got 1113, so I mean, it's a pretty decently sized. We want garlic still. Um, that's gonna kill, unfortunately. And, yeah. Just, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, go to lethal here, probably, and just try to survive. So I don't think I care about that anymore. I think what I want is to just put you in right away and get garlic, please. Garlic. Okay, garlic achieved. And now I just buy this. Alright. 
Well, I, it's kind of disappointing to not get... So, wait. Do you actually survive? It's a level 2 hedgehog, right? So I guess we need to do positioning like this in order for you to actually survive. But I need to find a pill in order to get the melon so that you don't die. And then maybe just buy like one salad just in case or something. I don't know. It's a strange one. We're getting tempoed down pretty hard. Hopefully this garlic can save me. Okay, there's the melon. It is gonna die. And we do win. Nice. Okay, things have turned around. I thought we were gonna go down to like lethal with this amount of tempo, but we do live for now. Um, salad would be great if I could find a pill first, please. That would be very generous of you. I desperately need a pill. Okay, level two, sure. There's a shark. Well, I mean, I definitely want that. I guess I can just sell this rabbit, maybe. Or I can sell the worm. Um, I guess I'll sell... Well, I need to find a pill first. That is the goal. Pill. Okay, there's a turtle, which I guess is nice. And a deer as well. Dude, where is the pill, though? I am going to be absolutely crushed if I don't find a pill. Okay, I'll put in... I could put in deer instead. No, I just have to put in shark. Alright, and then I guess we can freeze you. Show me a pill. Pill! No, oh, dude, where are the pills? I, it's just so necessary to my squad. Otherwise, I'm so screwed here, man. Um... Okay, well, I don't know what to do. Whoa, the front dodo. What a mix up here. And we win by one HP. It was so close. Okay, there we go. There's the pill. That's what I was looking for. And now I guess we'll just pill onto you guys. Um, let's take this turtle. I'm probably just going to sell this worm, unless if I find another one in the shop real quick. Uh, I think we have to keep this guy on board. Skunk? I... maybe? I don't know. I still... like, even if I find pill for this, that's not really all that helpful at the moment. Okay, well... Let's take a deer, and then I guess I can still take a pair on you. Seems good. Buffing Dodo. Do you think they'll buff Dodo again? Probably not, I feel like. Uh, and I guess we just keep this Dodo ox in front. Kind of risky, but they have monkeys, so they have to have something decent, right? Okay, they just gave up on the monkey, which makes sense. And the Dota Rooster. But luckily the shark survives. Good. Now we can pill this guy, get even more stats. And be very helpful. And then I think I could even pair this ox just so it doesn't die to these hedgehogs potentially. But I think I'm just gonna pair you. Roll. Alright, I'll take a cow for sure. And now maybe I just do buff Ox. I could buff you at least once, right? So you trade. Yeah, that seems good. And then maybe just put one on the shark here. Roll a bit. Try to find more pills. There are no more pills. That's okay. And then I guess we just kind of leave it as it is. Don't really have any scaling, but I don't think they have any scaling either. They just have Hedgehog Camel, so... Um, I mean, they can get, like, one-ups eventually, but we don't have to worry about that yet. I think the plan right now is just, uh, buy foods, try to level up Shark, I guess. Okay. Interesting. Things are dying. Perfect breakpoint for the Shark. So, yeah. Show me level 2... Um, so do I pair the shark or do I pair the dodo? What do I want to pair here? That's the question. I could even pair the cow if I was crazy. Um, maybe I just paired the ox. 
I mean, more HP on the Ox would be great. Um, the Skunk is hitting you, right? And they're going to get level 2 Skunk. Okay, I'll just pair the Ox. Chocolate, that'll go onto the Shark. Dota Rooster, perhaps? I don't think is quite the solution. We could try to level up the Turtle. Maybe level 2 Turtle is the way to go. Um, not too much I can do about positioning here, right? I think we just gotta kind of keep it the same for now. See what happens. And... Okay. The shark continues to win for now. Level 2 shark, please. That would be great. Um, 1-up turtle... Maybe that's helpful. I mean, I could one-up turtle and put it here. Maybe that is slightly better. There's also a snake, which I guess is kind of nice. I mean, they just have a bunch of garlic, though, so probably not. Um, one-up, huh? There's also Wolverine snake. If I just wanted to go... Like, I could go front dodo, then Wolverine snake. I don't think that's the solution, though. I'll take a one-up on you. If the game... What?! What is that? You're kidding me. Oh my god. I cannot believe that. Okay, well at least we found a pill. That'll help me out a little bit. And then I guess we go Dota Leopard here. After we take this cow, of course. And I guess I'll buff up Ox. And Dota Leopard. That, <laughs> no, I just have... What is this? This is not how things are supposed to go. Oh well. What can you do? It just one up the the dodo. Am I going to win with a one-up dodo? I don't even know. What is going to happen here? Hopefully this is enough attack. We have 26, so 13. That should be able to kill pretty much anything, right? And I guess, yeah, should be fairly helpful. I think the main issue is this is, I guess, one up or something. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Please do not matter. Okay, we killed Camel. Not really sure how helpful that is. I promise I did not mean to one-up that Dodo. <laughs> He's probably wondering why there's a one-up on the Dodo. But we win! Let's go. How much elo do we get? That was, he was almost like 1200 elo, right? 11! I did not expect to get that much. 13, 13? That puts us at number one again? Dude, it's been a climb. Because, like, I was playing on stream, got a little tilted after just losing two in a row and losing, like, 50 elo. It was pretty rough, but um, let's go ahead and see. There we are. We're above God once again. 1313. This is only the test server, and I already am like way too invested in it, but it's, uh, it's a pretty impressive top uh, 10. In fact, all of these players are apparently from Sab Dojo. God is Machine, Kyogre, one of the best players, Echo, Tangle, Tyler, Fangar, Sin, Zerval, Hiru just a lot of really good players. It turns out when you practice and play a whole bunch of uh, 1v1s beforehand, it's gonna give you a big advantage when it actually comes out in the main game. Okay, the battle for number one continues. It just keeps going back and forth. Like every few hours, someone just one-ups each other. So now Kai is back in front at 13, 19 elo. Might take two wins to get there, depending on who I match. Or I might just lose and lose like 30 elo. Let's go ahead and see what happens. We're at 13, 13. Okay, going against Alligator Testing, 959 ELO. So even if I win this, I don't think I'd be able to pass Kai. Oh well, I'll give it my best shot anyway. I mean, these are still going to be some intense matches. Also, I like how I said we're at like 1313 ELO, as if people who are watching this are a part of it. I like to think that you are really the people playing the game, and I am just the puppet you use through telekinesis or whatever i don't really know how things work okay good start though double duck just one more ant or duck please and how about both that for sure works what is actually better tempo though would i rather have another two three or a two two that gives one one i guess i'll take this it does rely on a little bit of ant rng but i'm sure that'll work out just fine Beautiful start, though. 
They've got a 2-5 fish. Interesting to see. And that will be a win, just barely. Nice. Take out one of their hearts. It's always good to take out one heart. Most people only have one, but in this game, I guess you get six. Strange how that works. They should really dock some points for being unrealistic. Okay, give me some combines. We got early rabbit. I like to see that. And we got early dodo. I love to see that. So I think we go ahead and sell you. Let's take this dodo and just pill you. I'm not too concerned about losing this round. And then... Um, well, if I'm not too concerned about losing this round, what do I actually want to put in? I guess I will try to win the round with a beautiful little flamingo. And then we will freeze both of you guys, I think. Go ahead and roll. Another snail sounds good. Honestly, meat bone sounds good. Unfortunately, I cannot buy four things as much as I would like to, so... I guess we'll just have this frozen. Um, maybe there's a chance that, I mean, I could buy one snail. No, I think I just buy both snails no matter what. So this seems good. 6-6 six, six dodos, pretty solid. There's no way I actually draw, right? Okay, that's fine. You can throw for double snail, right? It's just throwing. You, 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 everything looks good. I think I'll just dodo you, um, or maybe I should dodo you, I don't really know. Go ahead and roll for a pill, and now this flamingo is going to be kind of beefy. Um, it's going to be a 3-6, do I want it to be a 3-6? I guess it trades okay. Should be hopefully fine. And then a 1-6 rabbit and a 6-8 dodo, so we have some pretty good stats for the long term. Now we just need to find some salads. Maybe try to slot in an ox if I can, and we will be looking good. Okay, the badger. Interesting. Killing their own units. That is a really big fish, and they're going to win. Okay, so now we get more snail value. Anytime it, you lose, it's always just for snail value, right? Um, I'm kind of okay with just keeping double snail for now and just buying a salad. Okay. Maybe not the best hits. Do I want to just buy a meat bone on this rabbit I don't know it seems kind of sensible I need that extra attack and then I probably just take a garlic I mean that is a pretty big fish maybe I'd rather take a salad I think I'm gonna take garlic um, that'll get me pretty decent stats there and then maybe just you in front maybe like this positioning or something seems fairly good this is gonna be one weird statted team when you go snail and rabbit, you tend to have a lot of extra HP. And unfortunately, the dodo is only giving three, so it's not quite evening out the stats how I would like it to. A skunk already. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, we still do win, though. Nice. Okay, so now we can combine the snails to buy salad. Um, I probably will just go ahead and pill flamingo as well. Um, I could pill onto... I think I just pill onto dodo, even though... Uh, it is getting skunked. That's okay. Just keep rolling. I'll take another one of you for sure. And another snail for a tier 5 sounds good. I could still take an ox if I want to. Uh, but I think I'll just roll. And then salad sounds good. Okay, do I want the 312 at front? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I should probably do this positioning. Seems okay. They play very fast. It's always nice to end turn and not have to wait at all. Okay. Well, that's pretty rough, but the Meepo not going to be enough. Okay, good. So four to three. Now we just take the tier ups. Ooh, good foods. Love to see that. And we got a cow or a seal. I mean, it's an interesting decision because either one is good. I think I'm okay with selling snail here so he can buy all of the foods. Even though it's a 5-8, I kind of like it. Buy this. Um, I guess I'll just buy this. And then I'll buy this. I probably should have paired the dodo, actually, for the extra attack. And then I'll just spread out the buffs, because the skunk. That seems pretty reasonable to me. And let's see. You give 6 extra, so I guess we can do this positioning. Man, just a 2 squad. This happens with rabbit sometimes. You just end up running a 2 squad. But man, the battle for number one has been so back and forth. It feels like it's constantly changing. It'd be cool if there's like a progression of like number one and ranked you could see change over time. That's actually something they had in Sap Dojo. Is like you got to see everyone's progress through time. 
and like everyone's just it was like a bar graph of elos and it was just constantly changing all the time be cool to have that i guess it would be a lot more complicated since there's way more players right um and it's a draw i wonder if that positioning was just strictly worse or it's because i just ran a three squad not entirely sure i kind of want to wait for a tier up because i don't think it matters um i guess we'll buff this guy probably freeze roll because i can buy a food like i could take a garlic or an apple or something but i think honestly i'm just gonna take a bunch of dodos and i'll be satisfied with this I think this is enough attack. I'm not actually sure. Maybe I should go rabbit in front, and then this will be enough. And I guess you're getting skunked anyways, so it should be fine. The good old Dodo chain. The good old days when Dodo used to give 100% attack. Okay, we live by 1 HP. That's good. And, I mean, the breakpoints didn't work out amazing there, but still a win. Get them down to 1 above lethal. Now, hope for a good tier 6. I immediately uh, see that in the shop, so that's great. Um, I think I probably want to take a cat, although I don't mind taking a gorilla either. Those both seem like pretty decent options. Um, one thing's for sure, we're definitely taking turtle, right? And then, do I care about 1-1 one, one on this dodo, or would I rather have one extra gold? I would probably rather have one extra gold. Like, a one gold apple is always... It's so weird at this point in the game. So, I'd probably just take cat. I mean, I could go, like, turkey gorilla, but... Why not just scale and win? That's the question. Okay. Well, I can just... Um, well, actually, I kind of want to put both monkey and cat in. Is that possible? If I sell, sell... Not really. So maybe I should save the cat for next turn and just take monkey this turn. And then I don't know what I do. Well, I guess I just sell you and buy the cat this turn. And then we can freeze the pair for next turn. Okay. Level 2 monkey... This way I can at least keep the you getting skunked, which I think is better than having the garlic get skunked, so I'm completely okay with that. And then hopefully the badger will just kill the turtle, and then I'll get melon on the cat, right? I think that's how it's going to go. Just barely enough, and it looks good. Level 2 skunk, yeah, that's pretty scary. Luckily we have so much scaling now. And, oh my god. Well, I'm gonna buff the cat, and then I'll just take level 2 monkey. Sounds good to me. I will take an insane amount of scaling if the game just decides to give it to me. I could go for level 3 leopard. Uh, I guess I would just have to sell turtle, and turtle is pretty nice right now. Um, but I don't think we need to really change any positioning here. It seems like this is kind of just good. I guess we could go, like... I don't know, we could mix it up, maybe do this positioning, just to have enough attack, but I feel like it's not really necessary, because all that matters is we have enough attack to one-shot the badger in front, right? So I feel like this will just be enough. Oh well. 1532 seems pretty good. Yeah, I didn't really need to do that. I guess now you pop melon, which is good. And then the scorpion. Oh, wait, the scorpion! The fourth position scorpion? Please tell me this is not going to be an issue. Okay, well, I guess just level 2 turtle instead of leopard then seems reasonable to me. Level 2. And I guess I could sell cat. I probably shouldn't have buffed cat. Cat would have been the thing to go, huh? That makes a lot of sense. But unfortunately, I did not listen to my brain in this situation. And I guess I just buy an apple, which is really not plus one plus one, but plus two plus three. So I will take it. And what do I want to buff here? I could get the monkey out of chili range, potentially. Maybe that's worth it. Um, sure, we'll do that. All right, and now with level two turtle, surely we're fine. We could also do this positioning. But I kind of like how it positioned last time. Maybe I'll just take a, a one of you. 1438. You're still getting skunked, but it should be fine as long as the same thing happens as last time. We just have the extra melon this time. The stake in the back, not going to be enough. Live by 1 HP. Perfect. That 1 1 actually did end up mattering. It's always interesting to see the breakpoints. A whole 3 elo! Oh my god, that's like nothing, man. Okay, well, let's run it back. Okay. Well, I'm kind of glad I kept it in front. And that is going to be a win. Okay, beautiful. Is that going to put me back to number one? Please? 
This battle for number one. Plus four. We're ahead by one elo. Dude, the wins are such a small amount. Oh, man. But that should get us there. Back to number one. This back and forth has been kind of nuts. It's pretty nuts. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.